Paula Martin, Chief Executive for Cornwall Air Ambulance Trust. You got a visit by the Duchess today, how, how was that? It was fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Everything that we hoped for and more. She's a very warm person and really gen genuinely um, interested in the work of the Air Ambulance. And she wanted to speak to so many different people here today. It was brilliant. It's a fabulous charity. We've been uh, running for 25 years now in Cornwall and every year the helicopter attends around a thousand emergency missions. And there's no doubt that over the course of the years, um, many people have been airlifted to hospital and many people have had their lives saved. And it's an absolutely vital um, charity doing absolutely vital work in what is predominantly quite a rural county. Um, lots of peripheral areas, you've got your coast paths, the beaches, all the moors and of course lots of agriculture and horse riding and lots of other sports as well and that means that having an air ambulance in this community is really really important as part of pre-hospital emergency care. My name's Craig Webster, I'm one of the two duty pilots on the Cornwall Air Ambulance. Uh, I was working for Bondi Services as a, um, a wind farm pilot actually and uh, I was also covering a lot of air ambulance units around the country. Um, so I was a bit of a, a nomad and the opportunity came up to move to a fixed base which was here which is something I've wanted to do for a long time and I was given that opportunity uh, in March. Did you get to speak to the Duchess? Yeah she's been up and uh, we've told her all about how a uh, emergency call comes in, how we deal with that, how we um, you know, get off and go flying as quick as we can. We've just explained how that works. Well, the, uh, the new facilities have obviously just been officially opened, but we've been in here since about February time, and it's really given the charity a, a foothold now for the next 25 years. Um, the charity owned this building, and it means that the air ambulance will be here now for a, the foreseeable future and it's uh, brilliant for the paramedics, they've got extra facilities for the medical equipment and uh, we're conveniently, conveniently located at the, at the approach to the main runway so we've got the best of the airport facilities and our new facilities together, fantastic. I'm Steve Garvey, I'm lead paramedic with the Cornwall Air Ambulance. So how, how important is it to have the Air Ambulance in Cornwall? Oh, I think it's an absolute vital piece of uh, equipment for the county. Uh, it's been proven by the fact that we've been going for 25 years. We have to, we've got obviously uh, coastal uh, locations down here, huge areas of countryside and remote locations, plus a road network that gets congested in the summer so the air ambulance can get the patients to hospital a lot quicker than by road. Yes, I managed to meet the Duchess and show her around the, the actual aircraft itself. She took a keen interest in what sorts of missions we attend, how many missions a day we attend, and also uh, what all the life-saving equipment on the aircraft is. This is the Cornwall Air Ambulance. This, this particular model is a EC-135 helicopter. We've had this now for 11 years, um, serving us well. It's very fit for purpose because it's small enough to be able to access a lot of um, uh, compact locations but it gives us enough room to be able to move about and treat the patients within the aircraft. And just open up the doors and show you within. And you'll be able to see what sort of space we do have in here. This is all set up as it would be now for an operation that is operational today. So over there we have our first response trauma pack which carries um, various supplies to be able to deal with all, most medical and trauma emergencies. Wait for the other guys to pass really. <coughs> this is the patient stretcher which will uh, slide out 90 degrees to the aircraft so we can load the patient onto that. It also splits apart so that we can use it as a spinal board, take it out, scoop the patient up. Then we'll slide them back into the uh, patient compartment which is here. Their head end will be at this part of the aircraft. This seat, the front seat where the paramedic can swivel around so that he can face the patient here and uh, maintain the uh, patient's airway and top half. The second paramedic will be in this seat over here. That seat will also slide down and he will be able to put all the monitoring and uh, the other bits of equipment on the patient. Um, defibrillator, fluid packs, drugs packs, suction units are all contained around the aircraft. 
We also have these Air Bears, which is not as a as a parent, it's not what you want your child to receive, but it's uh, for all uh, young patients that have been lifted by the uh, helicopter. They all uh, receive one of these to try and uh, help ease them through the situation. And then there are various communication bits of equipment, our radios, so that we can liaise with ambulance control, paramedics on the scene of the incident already, um, facilities for the pilots to be able to obviously to talk with air traffic control so that we're aware of other aircraft operating in the area. And then we've got all of our GPS and, and navigation systems and all the aircraft avionics in the front of the aircraft.